what does Yinlin have for us? Why does she want to talk to us? Wait, I mean, she's not even here. Where is she? She gonna sneak up on us? Oh, so you've accepted my invitation, Rover. Are you from the society? Well, yes. My name is Lerong. Lerong? Okay. Since you were here, you must have lost someone too. Uh, I guess so. Now, Yuan Yuan, no need to be afraid. She's not one of those evil patrollers. You're safe with me. Eh, her name's Yuan Yuan. She's your one. <laughs> this yes. is your daughter. My daughter. Oops. Her name is Yuan Yuan. My only precious. And hey, what if you had another kid? Then she's not your only precious. You have to choose. I am daddy's precious? Absolutely, my dear. We will stay together. Nothing can take you from me again. She was taken from you? Ah, uh, yes. Once we were separated by an unfortunate turn of events. But now I have her back. Thanks to the Seon Society's help. Oh, really? Truly a miracle, is it not? Miracles aren't real. And you, yes, you too can be reunited with your loved ones. Just come join us. I ain't join, joining no cult, mate. So your daughter passed no, away? No, she didn't. She was never gone. Let me guess, she was alive in your heart. Can't you see? Yuan Yuan, she... She's still alive. Alive and well. This is why you don't join cults. He's delusional and he's cracked and he can't even stand up straight. Daddy, what's happening? You're scaring me. See, now you're scaring you one. He seems off. Is he overclocking? Calm down, man. No! No, doctor! I don't need anything! Yes, you do. I am not leaving her. You're not leaving daddy, right? You on, you on? It might hurt the girl, must act fast. Well, don't jump to conclusions. You on, you on! Shut up! Take your hands off her now! He's gonna strike. No! Daddy! Ah! That's enough, Lerong. <sighs> She'll be safe in my care. You still have other things to do, remember? What does he now? <sighs> no! Don't! Yuan Yuan! Lerong! Do you want to lose your daughter again? You will. Uh, no. I... Fine. I'll leave it to you. Llewellyn. You know him then? Now hand over the girl. Excuse your cheek, I just met you. I'm not handing over the girl till I know who you are. You see, that man is her father. Why do you want to separate them? Why does he want to attack her just to save her? Oh, well, whatever. Wan Wan, come over here, please. Yes. <laughs> Good girl. See? Yeah, sure. Stay here, Wan Wan. What you do? Do you mind controlling her? And why would you be concerned? Smart girls know how to mind their own business. Oh. You're quite the fighter. Mm. How about... How about what? Shh. They're coming. It's the patrollers. We can't let them find out about Wan Wan. One guy says Yuan Yuan. She says Wan Wan. Like a duck. Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> Nothing. She says Wan Wan like a duck. Now, if you don't want to get into trouble, better do as I say. Her. I'll explain everything later. You'll explain everything later? Woman, you just try to kill me. Including what's happening with the Seance Society. Mm-hmm. Nah, pass. <laughs> oh, nope. don't be so pig-headed. 
What if I pinned the blame on you? Of course you do that. Say, for trying to abduct this little girl. You'll have a real time talking your way out of that. Right, Wen Wen? But she's not even real. Yes, Miss Yin Lin. Guess I'll have to do what she said for now. Good. Now come give me a hand. We'll need to hide the traces of fighting here. That shouldn't be too hard, just... Oh. You knocked over more than just one thing, woman. Come on. You're so messy. Everything's back to where they were before. Found a piece of paper inside one of the boxes. Seems like a transaction record. Chisha, I didn't know you sound like Rover. When did you know how to change your voice? Date of transaction. It says today. Items. Four reincarnation puppets. What are those? They're exactly what they say they are. Reincarnation of puppets. Signy Larong. Probably forgot to take it with him. Dumbo. That should do the trick. Alright, where are we going then? This should be good enough to get past their eyes. Patrollers are almost here. Shh. <laughs> okay. You there. We heard some commotion coming from this area. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Nothing, officer. We were just hanging out. Really? Then what was that loud banging and shouting? We were having a screaming contest. Oh, this girl just tripped over. Poor thing nearly cried her eyes out. <clears throat> Put on a sad face. <laughs> I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Is that so? Then what did you do after that? Obviously, we picked up the girl and stopped making her cry, didn't we? It seems she can't find her father. We were just trying to help. Right, Rover? Yeah, sure, exactly. That's totally the story. I see. So they're just being kind. Oh yeah, definitely. We're not manipulating you at all. I don't have other questions. You can... Leave the girl to us. We'll help find her father. Can't do that. Thanks, but we've got this. Little one seems quite shy. She's just warming up to us. Wouldn't want to bother you further. Hmm. Don't worry. You're not bothering us. It's our job to help civilians in need. Doesn't matter. She's not going with you. Trust me, I understand how tedious a patroller's job can get. That's why I want to help. My name's Yinglin. I'm also a patroller. Here's my ID. I bet that's not a real ID. Oh, a fellow patrol. <clears throat> you sure this is real? Never seen her around. You think I can't tell a fake ID when I see it? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Shut your mouth. No reason you would have seen me. I don't work here. Just visiting Jinjo on vacation. Ah, makes sense. Then we'll leave the girl to you. Thank you for your help. If you can't find her dad, bring her to the patroller station. Come on, we're going, rookie. Enjoy your day. Have fun in Jinjo. Oh, hey, uh, wait up, Captain. Oh, so she's just being a dick to the, to the rookie. You're not really a patroller, are you? Hmm. Do I not look the part? No. No, you don't. 
I didn't plan to blow my cover, but that patroller was sharp. I would have risked them finding out about Wan Wan otherwise. Hmm. Why didn't you stop Lirong then? You should see for yourself. Let your soul rest. Return to your true form, daughter of Lirong, Wan Wan. <laughs> what the? She an android? No, she's a puppet. Not an android. Yes. A puppet, to be exact. This helpless little girl before you, Lorong's beloved daughter, is nothing but a humanoid robot. Right. And the so-called Seon Society. They're the ones behind Jinjo's recent missing person cases. Okay. They offer these puppets to people who have lost their loved ones. These puppets can perfectly replicate the personalities of the deceased. To those mourning people, they're indistinguishable from the living. Did she really pass away? Yes. With the puppet, she has been resurrected by her father's longing. People gave up everything to join this society for one chance to reunite with their beloved. And how do you explain this to everyone around? Like, yep, she's back. She she didn't pass away. She's she actually survived. As for how they got their hands on these puppets, I have no idea yet. Beware. The puppets may seem harmless, but those who got too attached are much more likely to overclock. Didn't know they were so dangerous. Lorong's the recruiter. You're the perfect outsider, traveling all alone, ripe for the taking. <laughs> but it seems he picked the worst candidate possible. Then why are you still helping him? I need to apprehend the true culprit behind this group. But this is not your problem. I'm on a mission. Leave now and forget everything that happened here today, will you? Hmm, I don't think I can do that. You were looking for something, weren't you? Larong's transaction record. Where did you find it? He dropped it. Oh, you're such a box of surprises. You promise you tell me everything? Sure. Why not? I'll give you what you want. But I don't want prying eyes. If you're really that curious, meet me outside the city at these coordinates. Okay, but no funny business. We meet again. As I expected. You asked me to come here. Why wouldn't I show up? This place seems safe enough. So, any questions for me? Uh, tell me about your mission first. <laughs> Didn't know you cared so much about me. I don't care about you, I care about your mission. This is supposed to be confidential. But I've been authorized to make my own calls. My orders were clear. Infiltrate the Seance Society, gather evidence of their crimes, and find the culprit behind it all. Great, that makes us partners. So far, I've had no luck meeting any of their higher-ups. Just playing a system for Lorong to gain their trust. So, any questions for me? Tell me about Lorong. Lorong, once a midnight ranger, lost Lirong, his daughter Lirong, in a tragic accident. He joined the Society to see his daughter again. And he's been feverishly trying to convince others to do the same. He truly believes the puppets are living miracles. A godsend means of redemption. Well, that's the biggest load of BS I ever heard. He could have been a good father. But his obsession with losing his daughter consumed him. So, any questions for me? No, no more questions. Aside from recruiting new people in Jinjo, Lorong and I were given another task. See the transaction record in your hands? Yeah, I don't see it in my hands. Some I want to find out who's making these puppets, so I'm curious now. You don't seem to be mourning someone. I'm not. Why the interest? They may have a way to recover my memories. You've suffered a memory loss. I see. Indeed, if they can make such lifelike puppets by tapping into people's memories, perhaps they could help you remember, too. Possibly. But we need to find them first. 
You can be my civilian investigator. What do you say? Why not? What's the plan? Larong and I are about to meet the Fraxidus for our deal. He will then leave to get the puppets at the storage house. I will need you to follow him and send me the coordinates once you're there. Sounds easy enough. And you're in already. Didn't even think twice. Hey, I have a purpose for this mission too, so why wouldn't I be? Oh, well, you seem really confident. And that's a good thing. They're coming. You'll hide and watch Larong. Okay. I'll bring Wen Wen to him. Hopefully he won't suspect. Activate spell it, turns back into longest form. Rise and shine, Wen Wen. <laughs> Miss Yinlin? Wh where am I? Where's Daddy? Don't worry, Wen Wen. I'm taking you to Daddy in just a moment. But before we do, promise me you'll be a good girl, okay? Okay, I promise. That's my girl. Let's go. I'm leaving the rest to you, Rover. Okay. I promise not to screw this up. Hide in the bushes, they'll never see you coming. Larong, here's your daughter, as I promised. What, does he see, does he see me already? Yuan Yuan, I was so afraid. I can't bear to lose you again. Please don't cry, Daddy. Was I being bad? No. You're always a good girl. Always. This is just messed up. Ah, uh, enough with the make believe. That's a puppet. Daddy, <laughs> am I a puppet? No. No, you're not. Yuan Yuan, I. Wan Wan's ten times more human than you people. You call that thing human? <laughs> That's just a robot lab rat. Nope, oh, he's pissed again. Enough. We don't have time for this. Where's our stuff? Bring them out. Larong, go bring them the prototype puppets. <laughs> I've... Are you going to mess up your own plan here? Hey, we ain't got all day. Hurry up. No, I won't let you have them. Well done. You had one simple task and you couldn't do it because you got pissy that they mocked your fake slash puppet daughter. We'll make you regret this. After him, you're going nowhere either, Missy. Yes, she Here is. Larong's trying to escape with the puppets. Here's hoping that Rover can stop him in time. Let's hope so. He's their only lead. I must follow him. Follow closely. <laughs> Is he gonna like turn around now every few minutes? Think you can catch up? Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> he turned around because I got too close to him. Ugh. <laughs> it's not my fault I'm faster than an NPC. Meow. I have to run side to side just to keep my distance. Where are you going? Found him. Here he is. Should take a closer look. Failed the first time as well. 
How would you know he's gonna, he's gonna turn around like, honestly? Daddy, I'm tired. It's okay, Yuan Yuan. They won't find us here. Are you so certain about that? Those scary people. Are they coming after me? Yeah, they're coming after you. They're gonna get you. It's all over. Not just you, Yuan Yuan. They want all the puppets here. But I won't let them. I'll make sure every puppet finds home. Together with people who love and need them. I will not let those freaks use them for experiments. Then maybe you shouldn't have created them. Master Dollmaker, how could you be the first to betray our belief? Dollmaker? Is that the leader of the Seance Society? Probably. Is Master Dollmaker bad, Daddy? I... Uh, I'm not sure anymore. He was our hope. He saved us all, but... Hmm. Doesn't matter now. I must get you all to safety first. Why did your voice change? I guess they still have some morals. There's still things they won't do. I must get you to safety. It doesn't matter now. What the fuck? With the pitch voice? I spotted them over there. How did you get past Ian? You can't hide from this good old Inland. sniffer of mine. You. You on? You on? Get behind Daddy, quick! And now his voice is back again. I'll grab these puppets now. What about that guy, boss? Ice him. We'll take that puppet behind him too. Huh? Huh? I will not let you. Weird, ain't it? How his voice changed? Yes. Lorong's going to severely overclock at this rate. Oh, oh, oh. You going crazy? Help! I'm here. Hello. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? Kicking your ass. Man forgot he had balls. Yep. <laughs> One woman's not gonna make a difference. Get rid of them now. You'd have a whole team in my back pocket. Forgetting someone, are we? What the? Those idiots! They were supposed to take care of you! Yeah, so much for that. Sorry I knocked out your friends earlier. We're not planning to start anything with the Fraxidus, really. What do you say? Care to give Lurong and his daughter a little break? There are people, after all. You may have these puppets here. We can pretend none of this ever happened. You think we're stupid or what? We're taking the puppets, and you're all going under. She's literally willing to let you take the puppet and fuck off. But no, you still want to get your ass kicked. Okay, uh, smart choice. You sure you want to do this? We're business partners, remember? Partners? You're just a bunch of lab rat keepers trying to play the game. So they're not up for peace talks. What do you say, Rover? Kick their butts. <laughs> True. You know Round your fraction one. as well. Fight. <laughs> You've got some moves. You turned your back for two seconds. That's just me being more observant than you. Guess I can rely on you a bit more. I'll be counting on you. It's worth the time. I mean. Hands up. Nope. Ow. How dare you? How did you like the fight? Are you injured? I can take on a dozen more. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll sit back and leave it all to you next time. 
is exactly what you did the first time. We took care of him for now, but there's probably more trouble coming our way. Your cover is at risk. My, my, are you worried about me? What a surprise. I thought you never trusted me this entire time. Fine. I'll spare you the teasing for now. Your serious face is quite cute, though. <laughs> Don't worry. We took care of all the Fraxidus people here. If the society becomes suspicious, I'll just pin everything on them. Of course. They may still question me, but I've mastered gaining trust with lies. It's the key to being an undercover investigator. Just like what I did to you. Try feeling your back. You planted a bug on me. A bug and a tracker. How else do you think I got here so quickly? I put it there the first time we met. Why? Don't trust anyone. That's the first thing I learned in training. Fair. You may not belong to any group, but you seem to care for Larong and Yuan Yuan, and you want to recover lost memories. Yeah, we've been through this. I can't risk you betraying me by helping them run off or selling me out. Better safe than sorry. Then I'm sure you overheard the name Dollmaker. Of course, Dollmaker. <clears throat> he must be a big deal in the Seance Society, or even their leader. We're getting close to the truth, but we have another issue at hand. I did a quick checkup on Larong. He just passed out from overclocking. Lucky for him, it wasn't that bad. What about the kid? Yuan Yuan returned to her puppet form once Larong fell unconscious. Not even I can reactivate her now. I doubt she'll be reactivated anytime soon. We've reached a dead end with Larong. Could trade prototypes. Yeah, I was planning to. We may find some clues. But we gotta move first. Can't stay here for long. Go collect the puppets. I'll look after Larong and Yuan Yuan. Right then. Collect all the puppets. They have memories in them. This puppet is marked with a tag of its intended identity and receipt recipient. Identify appearance as Zhao Fu kills during a TD outbreak. On dog is back, the boy from now on, I promise. Collect the puppets. Where's the last one? My only counted as one, there was already two right there. Weird. Fuji, you have no idea how much I miss you. This puppet's marked with a tag of its intended identity and recipient. Wife of Fuji passed away from illness. When bear decided for enduring such pain, I wish to trade places. Now I'm offered a chance to bring her back to my side. Thank you, Master Dollmaker. Think you can catch up? Twin sister of Lin Shi went missing in in, in an accident. It's all their fault. If they didn't leave, she wouldn't have gone missing like that. It's been ten years. Just want to tell my story, or just want to tell her I'm sorry. Why are you just standing here, woman? It's me, Yinlin. Congratulations, you know your own name. Acknowledged. Is that our only option? Seems to be on a call with someone. Well, that was obvious. It's not like she's talking to herself. Well, she might be. You never know. She might be delusional. But I believe it's unnecessary. <sighs> yes. Understood. I'll have it taken care of. Were you calling yes. someone? I wasn't listening in. It's my in. contact from the Public Security Bureau. PSP. Okay. They'll be sending people over soon. We can leave Larong and Yuan Yuan in their care. Okay. Are you done with the puppets? They're all here. More of a clue still. That's fine. We'll dig further once we're in a safer location. My contact informed me of a safe house not far from here. The patrollers will meet us there. Oh, how do we find a safe house? We'll have a designated meetup spot. There will be wolf-shaped markings nearby to show us the way. Okay. Let's move. 
can't let the Fraxidus find us. So where are we going now then? Use the sensor to find the markings. Oh, okay. No more markings in sight. This must be the safe house. You don't say. Look, there's a device on that wall. Hmm. We need a passcode. Is it fucking passcode? They were thorough. The safe house is hidden and has a passcode. There should be some hints nearby. Let's look around. I mean, the only hint I saw was a freaking wolf on the wall. There's two wolves. Or oh, there's three wolves.
Damn. Oh, no! What a special specimen. You would make for value. Time to have my men take her back to the camp. Stop skipping the dialogue. I'm trying to listen to it. It wasn't a sharing cutscene. I was not in control. No injuries. I still have my weapon and terminal. It's hard to tell from what little I've gathered so far. I should find out where this place is first. Jump out. You can't even jump. Can't do anything. Can't even aim. Wow. The Seance Society name list? Wuxiang, Shun Lian, yada yada, yada yada, so many names. That's why I said I don't like her no more, but we haven't finished the quest. <laughs> hmm. And the list goes on. Some of the names have been crossed out. These are probably the Seance Society members, the people who went missing. Am I in their base of operation? Probably. Now investigate this random box. I was trapped inside this box. It's easier to open now that I broke it. There's something between the cracks. Retreat tablet. A tablet with an encrypted transmitter. Messages sent through these are less traceable, I've heard. How have you heard? Where did you hear that? But why would I find it here? Because Yin Lin is actually using you to get inside the base of operations. She did say she's good at lying. I guess that's all the clues. Anyway, this place is definitely connected to the society. I should use it to inform Shisha and the others of my situation. And my current coordinates. <laughs> I know how to do this. Send coordinates. This is such a long message. Message basically said, yeah, Tisha, help us. We have no bitches. Done. Here's hoping they'll get my message. Now, how do I get out of here? Simple. Oh, you're you don't. awake. Come out then. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. This little uh, thing up here. Uh. Think you can catch up? Look at you, fresh as the dew. Yinlin, so it really was you. Who would have guessed? I went with maximum voltage back there. Didn't expect you'd wake up so soon. Uh huh. Thought you might never wake up again. I was gonna get Dr. Wu Sheng to check on you. Isn't that what you wanted? Am I supposed to say thank you? Because you ain't getting a thank you. I have no interest in taking your life. Master Dollmaker wants to see you alive. Hmm. Why, you insolent little whippersnapper? Show some manners when you're talking to Miss Yin Lin. Who the fuck are you, granny lady? Where is your family? Where is your family? Youngsters like you, always running off and leaving your family to rot. Old people are so 
and miserable and rude. It's family reunion day. Ain't no way I'm letting anyone leave this camp. I could just walk out and you'd never catch me. Because if you try to run, you get a crippled leg. Go sit down next to the bonfire and stay there. Don't you be thinking of slipping off. Miss Yinlin, show them the way. You heard the kind lady. Now keep your mouth shut and follow me. And if I say no? You can try to escape. I wouldn't recommend it, though. Uh-huh. Without Dr. Wu Sheng's antidote, you wouldn't make it too far with that poison inside you. You honestly expect me to believe that? It's all up to you. Just now I have no reason to lie. You said you're a good liar, so you have every reason to lie. You were planning to ask Master Dollmaker about your memories anyway, so why not come with me? Why? How is this beneficial to me? What even is this place? It's the Seance Society's headquarters. We all live here. What a sad place you call home. Why don't you just join the Society? Make things easier for all of us. No. I expected as much. But you may have a change of mind later. Come on. Joining or not, it won't hurt to introduce yourself first. Who knows? You try to stab me in the back, that hurt. They might hurt me. You don't know. See, look, I can run away. Can catch me, you see? Come on. Player. <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> hmm, who's nice and won't try and kill me if just for saying hello? You, you're familiar. I know staying with us puppets will make my hubby sick eventually. I just want to stay with him while I can. Sure, it must be very hard for you to stay with a puppet for as long as you can. Yes. Maybe we are causing harm by simply existing. But I wouldn't trade what I have now for anything else. Wait, which one is the puppet? Rhetorical question. Dr. Wu Sheng, how's the wrong doing? Out of danger for now, but he's still in a coma. Sorry. I'm not that familiar with taking care of resonators. There's not much else I can do. Shame. He shouldn't have disobeyed Master Dollmaker. Was it you who injected me with poison then? Well, yes. Master Dollmaker asked me to. If Master Dollmaker asked you to jump off a cliff, would you do it? We had no other choice. Probably not. You refused to join us. Had no other choice. Everyone has a choice. Did you poison everyone else here too? No. Why would I need to? They're not leaving here. Oh, sure. Selective poison. Poisoning then, right, this right. This is the only place where we can forever live with our loved ones. You're a doctor. You should know how dangerous those puppets are. I do. But I also know why we'll hold on to them no matter what. Right. Doctors can't save everyone. Not even the best of us can. I could only watch as my better half passed away in agony. Mm -hmm. Master Dollmaker saved us with his puppets. That's something no doctor can ever achieve. Depending on the accident. What about you? Do you have someone you desperately need to see again? I don't know. Feeling lost? I suggest taking a walk and go chat with everyone a bit. We're all for helping each other. You're not helping anyone but yourselves. First you think the old woman is above us since she don't talk to you at all, but I don't know. She can't tell the difference really. Greeting, stranger. The name's Jin Lu. We're the guards here, her Chang and I. Are you a resonator? Right you are. The two of us and Lirong used to be Midnight Rangers. Used to be Midnight Rangers, so you got laid off. What you do wrong? How are you feeling? Got the overclocking under control? Well, thanks for asking, Miss Yinlin. I'm feeling a lot better now. Lirong, though, he, uh, he had it rough back there. 
Why stay with a puppet when you know it's dangerous? We served in the same unit. He Cheng overclocked, trying to save me. In the end, he didn't make it. Now what if you end up overclocking too, hmm? I know the risks. I'm just... I'll do anything. Anything to make it up to him. If I still can. Yeah, that's a big if. Miss Yenlin, who might this be? Why don't you ask me who I am instead of asking Yenlin who I who I am? Don't worry, she's Master Dollmaker's guest. I am nobody's guest. I see. Whatever. I just want to stay with my son. Your son's a puppet too. You're delusional. It's just a sh shadow of your son. He's not really there. So what? He's still my one and only son. What would you know? Go adopt another child. Jeez. Learn to let go. Rover, let's stop it here. What on earth happened? I won't let anyone threaten our peaceful life ever again. Oh, go overclock yourself. I just remembered there's another place we need to visit. Come with me. Relax. These people are so dramatic. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Not yet, at least. Uh, who are you? Okay, you can pronounce your name. If I try and pronounce your name, bullshit will come out. You're not one of us. How did you sneak in here? Dude, I was brought in here against my own will. Chusha, are you injured? Miss Yinlin! You're back! Oh, you're happy to see her. Easy there. You need to rest. This is Master Dollmaker's guest. You're safe with her. How's it going, Aegis? It is my duty to protect our people. I'll be fine. There's are no small wounds. I'm fine. Ah. Oh yeah, you're really fine. Totally. Yep. Everyone in, in this circle believes you're fine. No more duties if you die from those wounds. We no longer need you to protect this place. Not too bad, how about you? Remember? Pretty good, pretty good. She's a weird character, alright. I will say that. But Master Dollmaker, he... He told me to protect this place at all cost. What if Master Dollmaker is not even real and he too is a puppet? And he's like the ultimate mastermind puppet. You'll figure it out when you finish the story. Ah, uh, fair enough. That won't be necessary. Master Dollmaker's not coming back. I'll be getting rid of everything here. Master Dollmaker's ultimate goal is near, and he won't need them anymore. Neither will I. But... Enough. You heard what I said. Stay put. I'll go fetch some first aid for you. Okay, then. Investigate inside the tent. What tent? This is not a tent. You call this a tent? I call this a gazebo. Ugh, oh, excuse me. Carefully kept notebooks. My samurai character, bow and sword type. Hmm, that's an interesting build. What kind of, um... Stats are you looking to put on that character then? What did she want to tell the doll maker? Guess I'll never know. The message is still here, which means it probably never reached the doll maker. Um. But remember, you can get around Godric unless you literally need to, like, I don't know, get past the gate after him. I don't know, because after I fight Godric, I'm kind of going in a bit blind. This, it reads like the writing of a patroller undercover. Why is it here? Is the dollmaker doing business with one of the patrollers? Close, so close, almost there, almost. My own memories failed me, and Yilin is no longer an option. I spent a decade with two bubbles. 
If we're finishing this project, it'll do whatever it takes to tame up with those at once. Spy sacrifices we made. We'll see it through no matter what. The dollmaker has been delving deep into his craft, trying to make a certain puppet. For me, just thinking of a new bed and a frame. I want a Murphy wall bed. I remember you saying that, all right. Whose puppet is he trying to create? News to me. Looks Slightly like a aged child's diary. diary. There's a crude drawing folded inside, with some scribbled words on the back. Hmm. Today, Master Dollmaker told me stories about mom and dad again. He said they were brave patrollers who were betrayed by some really bad people. The Dollmaker only seems to get happy when he talks about this. He promised that he promised me he'd bring them back to me, and when that happens, they'll get their what? Is it the handiwork <clears throat> of one of the children back there? And the new new closet organizer, so I can keep most everything in my closet and less cluttering up the rest. Not bad. That's always good. Or a memory of so you can just have everything. Youth? You can have everything in that one unit, basically, in like one corner of the room. Not bad. Yinlin will be back at any moment mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. I should go back to the <clears throat> show. Sweet. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to set up then. Is that your whole weekend sorted out then? This should do it. Or planned out, if I should it still say. still hurts, go to Dr. Wu Shang for a detailed checkup. Thank you, Miss Yinlin. It's just a scratch. Pretty Nothing much. to worry about. Pretty much, yeah, starting to move today. Getting, getting satellite hooked up. And tomorrow is all the big moving stuff. Am I not? Tapped into the game. I am. Go find somewhere safe to rest. Which is You're weird, but if it works, duties. then hey, awesome. Exactly. Everything's working, it's coming on. The only thing that's not a major problem is just uh, we gotta get new fans now because it's pretty loud. And she's still using my RTX 2060 Ti. I think it's a Ti. Which it, 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 it does the job. Miss Yinlin. We're burning it all. Stand back. I'll use my thunder to start up a fire. No trace will be left. You sure you want to do this? I think you may regret it. Oh, so you've read what's written inside? Yes. Yes, I have. You seem to enjoy meddling in other people's business. What do you expect me to do around here? Sit on my butt and wait for you to burn all the evidence? On second thought, the past can't be erased anyway. Why's that? Burning these makes no difference, and the flames could attract tacit discords. So fight them. Still, Chusha, you should leave this place. We don't need you to protect these anymore. What if those monsters come at us again? We'll have no one to stop them. Hmm, I don't know. Your safety matters far more than these objects of the past. If you're okay, go help those who aren't. Understood. Okay then, if you say so. Hasta la vista. What are you saying? What's in my backpack? Oh, the picture. Right, okay. You've talked with everyone I see. Are you joining us now? They're not bad people, but I'm probably going to decline. They're just some poor souls longing to see their loved ones again. No. They're just poor souls who are being poor souls for far too long that they can't let go. Master Dollmaker saves them, letting Master them make does not for save past them. regrets. You're a great liar, even you're lying to yourself. A noble cause, is it not? No. Why'd you betray me then? <laughs> How is it betrayal when we were never a team? She makes a valid point. Having a cop on our side makes things easier for the Seance Society, don't you agree? Not exactly. I was just a young orphan, 
Never knew who my parents were. Master Dollmaker took me in. And turned you into a biatch. He taught me combat, puppetry, temperance, and how to become a patroller. Uh-huh. I owe my life to him. But he's in for more than just help me people, right? Yes. His eyes are set on another ultimate goal. We're all his subjects. He needs us to complete the last two puppets. She just she just reminds me of Kafka from what I've seen of her in Honkai. Every one of us has been aware of this, but still decided to join. What kind of puppets he trying to make? That's not for your ears. Members only, you see. Of course, all the secrecy. What's with all the secrecy when you're planning on blowing this place up anyway? But I do admit you're not like the others. You rescued Larong and showed respect to the puppets. They weren't just objects to you, I could tell. I mean, they're objects to me, but hey, I'm not in control apparently. Couldn't just stand by and watch. Look at you. Ever so righteous. Hmm. Righteous. Maybe you're better suited to be a patroller than me. You were kind to those people and their puppets too. Kindness. <laughs> or maybe I couldn't just stand by either. Can I even trust your words this time? That's up to you. Trust is a delicate thing. You must follow your instincts and decide how much you're willing to give. Enough chatter for now. I'll take you to Master Dollmaker's pla- Why is she stop? Help! Help! Who's that? We got TDs. What's going on? Miss Yinlin, the tacit discords are here! Go tell your grandma. Get everyone somewhere safe. Oh, okay. What about you, Rover? Will you join them? Or flee while you can in this chaos? A fight's a fight. So you want to help protect them? Knew it. You knew shit. You owe me the truth after this. Everything. Everything, huh? The secrets I hold might be bigger than you imagine. You don't know the half of it. If you really want to know, you'll need to survive this first. Easy. So are you not streaming today then, Aegis, if you're getting stuff uh, boxed up, we'll say? Last bit of pieces left in the old house. Say goodbye. Round one. Fight. I'm sure you have a lot of wires and stuff to put into bags and stuff. It's nothing. Oh, my field of expertise. Surrender now! We've got you surrounded! You are the leader here, aren't you? Who might be? No stream. Playing a little bit of Elden. Might try against Godric. And then packing and beginning the move. Can't really start on can't really start until we get the keys. Wait, you're moving in tomorrow and they still haven't given you the keys? That's a joke. My, my. Rude. That's quite Very rude. the party. Hey! Who the hell are you? Let him go! I'm not a him, Jisha. I'm a girl. Technically in the game. Get your dialogue right. And if I don't? Oh my god! Freeze! Shut up! Man, this patroller's got it all sorted out. Freeze, shut up. Yep, she's definitely gonna freeze and shut up after that. 
Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I've got a hostage, you see? Whoa! You... you... don't move! I wouldn't try anything stupid if I were you. Can't risk the VIP of Jinjo getting hurt now, can we? Oh, she knows that. Ah, oh, fine. Lower your weapons, guys. We let another know we're moving, but if he doesn't answer, fuck him. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Placing another tracker on me. Trust me. Come this way. Oh. We're going into a domain. It's almost been an hour and ten minutes of this companion quest. Yes. Some TDs Excuse found me. their way inside and we're now surrounded by a bunch of cops. Hard to make it out of here with the specimens. Fortunately, you caught that rover. Whether she's useful for research or not, holding her hostage will buy us some time. Uh -huh. What should I do next, Master? Here's the coordinates. Bring her to me in the inner chamber. She's a sly one, ready to bolt at any moment. I have trackers planted on her. She's not going anywhere in our territory. Hmm. We'll talk once you get there. You heard him. You're in our turf. Better not get any bright ideas. Okay, I'll make sure a light bulb doesn't pop up on top of my head and say, Ooh, I got a bright idea. Well, that's not your problem. Also, no one's coming to your rescue anytime soon. You don't know that. You didn't expect Chisha to show up. I guess you managed to send out a distress call. Somehow it slipped past us. Ah. You had an encrypted transmitter tablet. Hand it over. Don't try to deceive me. Not like I have a choice. <laughs> you can dream. Funny. You think you have a choice. <laughs> you are a valuable test subject. I don't want to make things difficult for you, unless you force my hands. Got it? Oh, totally. Here's the thing. Dollmaker's listening to our every word. All my efforts will be wasted if he suspects anything. Hmm. See, I knew she was on our side the whole time. I'll be typing on this tablet for you to see. I want you to follow my instructions. Not in agreement. Very well. If you can refrain from unnecessary struggle, we won't have to do things the hard way. Sure. So where are we? You don't need to know. Now get moving. We're in the factory where the doll maker makes his puppets. This place is full of traps and his minions. Very dangerous. At least tell me what he's planning to do with me. <laughs> Patience. You'll know once you see him. Dollmaker's in bed with the Fraxidus, trading overclock-inducing puppets for resources and funds. Huh. I need your help to collect proof of his crimes. No more wasting time. Let's go. I'll take off your restraints on the way. I need you to pretend you're still bound, remember? Got it. Uh, 
Alright then. Strange. The After interacting with the puppet mechanism, you'll enter the puppet control state. In this state, you can leave the puppet where it is whenever necessary and switch back to control your resonator. Utilize the puppet access places beyond your reach and detect deactivate the laser mechanism obstructing your way. Path is blocked. That thing should open it back up. I'll handle it. Ah, okay. So, control the puppet. Stop controlling the puppet. Huh. Interesting. You guarding this place for Master Dollmaker? Doesn't sound like it. Out of my way. Master Dollmaker <clears throat> asked for this person. Something's off. Oh, family! Oh, my family! <sighs> They're overclocking. Must have been exposed to those puppets for too long. The bunch of cops that just attacked us pushed them over the edge. Ciao, then. Give my family back! Round, Round one, one, fight! fight. And you're gone. And you're gone too. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> I can't get through here, but Zapstring should be able to get under it. I'll just put that there. Aww. Wait, you can just do that. Duh. for that one okay no more controlling there's a chest uh we go this way is there a chest up here no this should deactivate the alarms on the lower levels watch it Control systems crashed. We'll have to force our way through. Of course. gets us so far. <laughs> so we gotta control from here too. Hey then. Good. Those exiles can't reach us now. Are you so sure about that? Master Dollmaker's chamber is right up ahead. Don't die on me now. I made it this far. 
so many prototype puppets. How many secrets does this factory hold? One too many. Here, record the physical status of these puppets. Master needs to know for his research. Hmm. These are his prize achievements. We need photos of them to prove what he's been up to. As you wish. Hmm. That's more like it. Remember to capture every detail. I'll be watching you. You've been watching me the second I met you. <sighs> Using the sense camera. What is the sense camera? Oh, this. Okay. Smile. If you can. Military grade mechs. How did they get their hands on these? Who knows? That's the total number of prototype puppets. Imagine what would happen if they were all activated at once. They're gonna all activate at once just because you said that now. All puppets are powered by these metal canisters. That's why non resonators can activate the puppets. Oh, of course. Intruder! Kill her! They can't even recognize me now. Hmm. Plan? We take them out, of course. We can't stay here too long. Make it quick. Okay. Round two. Fight. Surrender your stuff. Uh. Teacher, can I have my burst, please? And you're probably all dead now. Yep. <laughs> Open up. Oh, come on. Thank you. Why aren't you taking damage? Okay, you were. Your health barrier wasn't going down. Save me, boss. Fight. Ow. Tell me in. Ow. Better keep up. Be right back. Uh, I can't believe this. <laughs> keep going up. I'm gonna stop again, isn't it? Check your ping. That might be why it's too late. What do you mean, check my ping? My what's delayed? You mean my MS? I know my MS isn't that great. Yeah, that you were spiking to over 200. Yeah. Yin Lin, you made it. It's Others playable. Cops entered the factory. Not yet, but those exiles were overclocking, and I had to take them down. Hence the delay in the HP going down. Probably, maybe. Lurk. Alrighty, thanks for lurk, sir. Enjoy the rest of your day if I don't see you. It's fine. They're disposable. How pathetic. They're a bunch of outcasts, willing to do whatever it takes to survive. No one would mourn them if they died. <laughs> also connection error again. <laughs> it could also be the fact that just a lot of people are playing the game today because of an update. I mean you. Oh? Me? Yes, you. Your forte could have saved many, but you... I could save them, I'm sure. But who's going to save me? No one. 
no one's going to save you. What are you planning to do exactly? Stop it, Dullmaker. My parents would not consent to being brought back as puppets. Yinlin, I thought at least you would understand me. I don't blame you. You were too young when they passed away, after all. You hardly remember them. And that's why I couldn't revive them from your memories. Nor from my own, either. Hmm. The mask is cool. This is where you come in, Rover. You're a godsend. A gift from above. Hmm. You want to use me for that? Precisely. With help from the Fraxidus, plus your body's data, I will finally create their puppets. I don't want my body used for evil. Dollmaker, you... I was an outcast, alone and shunned, until my mentor and his wife took me in. They were my true family. I'll do anything to bring them back, no matter the price. That doesn't mean... That doesn't mean you can... You can hurt other people, you know. So what? Why should I care? It's almost time. We'll have to leave the factory behind. But there's a couple of prototypes I need to bring. Okay. My identity must stay hidden. Use explosives to stop them if necessary, Yin Lin. But our people are still inside the factory. Our people? There's only the two of us. The rest of them are not worth my concern. Hmm. What about Rover? Same as before, Yin Lin. Just knock her out. No need to keep her intact this time. Some level of basic consciousness is enough. The Fraxidus taught me methods to operate on a body like that. You're fucked up, dude. I'll leave two puppets here to pretend we're still holding her hostage behind the closed door. We'll need the data repository, too. Yes, my research data. That's more valuable than my life. Is it now? I'll take care of the data transfer. Yin Lin, you deal with this person. Be quick! You're just walking into her trap and you don't even know it. Now to fight him. Uh, Yin Lin, what are you doing? Sucker punch him. It all ends here, Dollmaker. You're going nowhere. You of all people should know why the Fraxidus offered their help. Yin Lin, you... How dare you betray me? I have never forgotten who I am. My bloodline is one of Jinjo's patrollers. I will always uphold my duty. Just like my parents before me. They fought to the last minute of their lives, trying to save the innocent. Everything I've done, I did it for them! Yeah, but not in good face. No. You did it to relive the kindness you once felt. But my parents are gone. So are everyone else's loved ones. It's time we wake up from this dream you've been spinning. No. Don't you dare! Another one of you guys? I swear you're like copy pastes. The XLC just let them in. Careful. Those people don't look right. They've all overclocked. Hmm. It's worth the time. Ow. Ow. And you're gone. Oh, there's more. Okay. 
Now you're gone. Where are we? Lightning has destroyed the control panel and hologram projectors. This is what the factory really looks like. Damn. This thing, the Fraxidus. You got this from them in exchange for being their pawn? Me? Their pawn? Ha! I'm the one pulling their strings, sweetheart. Sure you are. All right, then. The bullets fly. Do you have your burst? You do. Finish it up then. It's our curtain call. You didn't finish it up at all. Ow, you squashed me. Jeez. Watch out, like. It's all over, Dollmaker. Surrender now. Shinlin! How could you do this to me? Simple, by doing it. I created this hope for my followers. They found salvation through my puppets. I am their savior! You're a fool. You too, Yinlin! You had the chance to reunite with your family. Why are you doing this to me? Puppets can never replace real family. I never met my parents, but my actions are guided by their beliefs. As a child, I bemoaned my misfortune, but I knew better than to harm others to make up for it. The dead deserve peace. My parents are gone, and I can't change the past. In-betweens are awkward. Why? But the presence is mine to control. I can still bring justice to those who caused their untimely end. What's wrong with doing what I can for our happiness? Laws and principles are just tools for those in charge. Is that why you must deprave others of their happiness? Using them as your pawns? To figure out what they are as a non-dancer. Huh. <laughs> Suddenly justice matters to you? Don't tell me you still think you're a patroller. I already wiped your data from their records. No one knows you were a patroller. You can't prove it to anyone now. You may have wiped the data, but it's still in the backup files, right? Ian Lin? Yes. They may never allow me back. Doesn't matter now. It's a small price to pay to stop you and the greater evil you serve. Hmm. I don't need a recognized identity to do what's right. I can do it my way. You! Uh, uh, uh. I should get going. I'm leaving the rest to you, Rover. Hmm. Please, keep it secret from the patrollers until it's all over. One day, I'll tell them everything myself. Next time we meet, I'll explain all, and I'll thank you properly, I guess. You guess? Nah. Better go. Don't bother saying wait. Quick, over there! Activate the switch until the other is in the next chamber. All right, beat Godric first attempt. Now onto the rune farm. Are you okay? Nice. 
Not bad, sir. Not bad indeed. I'm fine. What about the others? We've sent those civilians back to Jinzhou for medicals. Okay. They weren't super excited to leave for some reason. They didn't want to be separated from those puppets, no matter what. Yeah, they're kind of delusional. There was really not much we could do about it. They'll need some time to process, like a good couple of years process time. Oh, where's that woman who kidnapped you? What woman? She just, she just vanished. She may not even existed. <gasps> Don't tell me she's already <clears throat> gone. Quick, we're going after her. Nah, we don't need to. I don't think that's necessary at this point. Uh, yeah, she's a slippery one. Unlikely we can track her down. Probably not. Also, something about her seems... not so evil? No, can't make assumptions. She's still a suspect. Uh, we'll table that for now. Rover! You're a crucial witness. Please come to the Bureau for a statement when you can. Sure thing. I'll see you there. So are we just done? Just like that. Gold chest. Don't see many of those. What do we have here? <laughs> you can't hide from me. So that's what the Seon Society was up to. Thanks for your statement, it really helped. You're welcome. Somehow yes. the Fraxidus was involved too. Who would have thought? Luckily, you were there to stop them in time. I was the society people doing. Most of those resonators have varying degrees of overclocking. They need urgent care. The professionals from Huashu Academy are already on it. A guy named Lorong had it worst. Didn't wake up from his coma until yesterday. Probably best for him. He's still recovering from some really bad after effects, but at least he's making progress. Hmm. Oh, so the missing cases led us to an illegal cult-like organization and a bunch of other twisted plans. Oh. Unbelievable. We'd be toast without your help. Yeah, I couldn't do it without someone else's help. Huh? And who's that? An honorable companion and measure miserary of justice in the shadows. I'm not sure whether she's a friend or a foe. Hmm, friend or foe. What? Come on, you need to be more specific. Ah, <sighs> whoever they are, sounds like they'll make for quite the patroller. Oh, you have no idea, Chisha. Well, that's it for now. Ring me up when you find something unusual again. I'll catch you later. Okay. Same as last time, Rory. You know how to find me. A letter without a signature. It can only lead to one thing. Yin Lin. Chisha. She's waiting for me. Stop impersonating Rover again. Same as last time. She She's said. girl. Must be the wolf markings. I should look around. Well, I have to switch to me fucking sensor to use a sensor, don't I? <laughs> she's up here. Yep. Chisha, she's right over here. She's not even that far from you. You can literally find her in two seconds. Splendid view, right? It's pretty cool. As promised, I owe you a lot of explanation. Yeah, no kidding. Had you been planning to get me involved this whole time? No, I wasn't expecting to meet you. But you were expecting something. My order something. was to oversee our deal with the Fraxidus. You were just a pawn in my plan to find where Lorong kept the puppets. Hmm.
Around that time, Dollmaker caught wind of your special abilities. He asked me to bring you to that safe house. You zap me a little too hard back there, you know. <laughs> oh, really? I even upped the voltage for the best effect. Was that just a zap to you? <laughs> no wonder our doll maker took so much interest in that body of yours. So you couldn't recover my memories, huh? Unfortunately, no. He tried, but couldn't gain access. According to him, you possess a power beyond his understanding that prevented him from prying into your mind. You might be more special than you had thought. Sometimes I wouldn't say special. Said he couldn't read your mind without risking his own sanity, let alone retrieve any information. I can't imagine what the hell is going on beneath your skull. Same. Who knows? Maybe you helped some strangers again only to mess with the wrong person and ended up with your memories gone. I say you should stop playing hero and take better care of yourself. You'll live longer that way. Hmm. Don't think I need to, since you can handle yourself just fine. But if you ever need my help, just let me know. Sure. We have a lot in common. Both alone in this world. Maybe I'll keep you in my thoughts. A reminder that I'm not the only solitary soul out there. And eventually, we'll both learn to move through our lives with loneliness. Perhaps the same loneliness was too much for Dollmaker to bear. That's why he gave up everything to resurrect my parents. He had companions. He does never cherish them. Yes. After my parents' death, we all became chess pieces to him, myself included. raised me to be a patroller for his own agenda. He needed a mole in the Public Security Bureau. In the end, I did become a patroller, but failed to stay by his side as he desired. Maybe I'm indeed a heart-wrenching betrayer to him. He dug his own grave. Yes, we all have to face the consequences of our actions. I don't plan to defend him. But if I had acted sooner, this whole mess could have been avoided. Why didn't I do something? Perhaps, like everyone else in the Seance Society, I too held on to that naive pipe dream. The dream of finally meeting my parents and having a real family. I indulged in it more than I care to admit. Hmm. Deep down, I knew my dream was built upon the sacrifices of innocent lives, but I couldn't bear to shatter it. In the end, you still fulfilled your duty as a patroller. <laughs> because I met you, a total outsider risking her life for me and for all those people. A lot of it still remains unresolved. Dollmaker was merely a cog in the wheel. A bigger shadow lingers. Precious. Yes. We must stay vigilant until we expose the true culprits and destroy their plans for good. We? Oui. Don't tell me you're pulling out at this point. <laughs> if you are, I may have to wipe my true identity from your head by force. <laughs> <laughs> In 
It was a joke. Anyway, I should thank you. Because of you, I was able to accomplish far more and save many more lives than I imagined. You feel different. I have the feeling I can always trust your words, whatever you say. Do you mean it, though? <laughs> well, take a guess. Oh, and lastly, there is another thing I should thank you for. For trusting me all the way till the very end. I didn't trust you at all. Until we meet again, Rover. Perhaps I'll meet you under an entirely different identity next time. Maybe.